Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're all enjoying the content that I'm putting out. When I first started the channel, I didn't want to be a one trick pony. I wanted to bring a variety of things to the channel from wild fowling to fox shooting to rat shooting, just to name a few. If there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, then please drop it in the comments below. But only sensible requests, please. Anyway, you join myself and Robin on a morning in the hide controlling the grey squirrels. It was a very slow morning with the greys not wanting to play ball, as you will see. But it's always puts a smile on my face when out on an early morning hunt, whether it's squirrels, ducks or geese, just listening to the morning chorus of the birds and seeing the world come to life. Now you thinking of going? So after a short discussion with Robin of where to set up, I put the pop-up hide up and get in position. So it's the normal setup for me this morning. I'm using the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter in FAC. The optics is the Pulsar DigiX C50. I'm also using the Carbon Bog Death Grip system this morning. I'm absolutely loving this tripod system at the minute. So just before we get into the action, I'd like to give a shout out to Ian at Blackwood Outdoors. If any of you guys are in the market for any night visual thermal, sticks, tripods, plus lots more stuff that Ian sells, then please check out Blackwood Outdoors. Ian's a great guy to deal with. I've dealt with him for many years. So as the dawn breaks, we're settled in, ready for the action. It's not long before our first customer of the morning makes an appearance. So with the first one in the bag of the morning, it seemed a quite a long while before the second one made an appearance. Now this one was very shy, wouldn't come to the feed and it spent a long time in the trees, calling out to others before he decided to come down. Thank you. 
as you can probably hear there was another one calling out all morning this one was to the far right of us we often got a glimpse of him over the morning but he'll give us a glimpse once too often as you'll see later in the video as he pays the price I'll fast forward this as you can see because it just took ages and ages and ages to commit it just went on for so long With a massive great lull before the next one come to the feeder, we sat back and enjoyed the wildlife that put a show on for us on the morning. <laughs> so with tea break over it was down to business again another one decided to show but it would not commit to the feeder so i had to make the decision to take it from the tree Oh. 
Well, after an hour and a half wait of nothing, Robin finally spots the one that's been annoying us calling out all morning to the far right in the trees. Now, we couldn't get it to come any closer, so I did make the decision again to take it when it presented a shot for me. And as you will see, I think Robin thought it was a cracking shot. Let me know what you thought of the shot in the comments. So while Robin is recording it, and it's by saying it's here, it's here, I couldn't get to it because I was stretched, so I had to reposition the tripod as it was to my far right. So I had to reposition the tripod before I could get a shot on it. And then when I finally get a shot to the point where I can take a shot on it, it decides to run up the tree. So with another half an hour passing and nothing making appearance we both decided that we had to call it a morning. I had a christening in the afternoon and Robin had to do the washing up when he got home. So we decided to collect up. Very difficult morning as you'll all agree. I, say, I think there's still a lot of natural food about in the wood and that. And that's why they weren't committing to the feeder. So there we have it, a bag of four greys that was well earned over the morning. Well guys, we've come to the end of this uh, session, just a short session because I've got a Christmas this afternoon. Uh, we've only seen four all morning and we've accounted for four very difficult conditions as Robin will agree with me I'm sure. Definitely. I think the shot of the morning was the last one actually, I think it was about 35 yards. I say they just wouldn't commit to the feeder this morning. The Air Arms S510 again doing the trick, absolutely loving that and the JSB combination. The Digi XC50, love it. Uh, thanks for Dougie for allowing me to put this feeder up in his wood and also he's been feeding it for me literally 40 minute drive from my house to here. So thanks to Dougie and thanks to Robin for coming along this morning for helping me record. And spotting for me so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please remember to give the video a like a share and if you feel comfortable leave a comment looking at my statistics there is 80 percent of my viewers not subscribed to the channel it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe it is absolutely free so please consider subscribing so thanks for watching stay safe and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye for now.